How much do we owe to the people that we love? Is it a sign of strength or is it a sign of weakness to walk away from someone who's in need? The book, The Dive from Claws and Spear by Ann Packer demonstrates how the main character, Carrie, faces these choices. Ann Packer spent 10 years writing this novel and she finally published it in 2002. She wrote this book because her father, because when she was 10 years old, her father um, became, had a stroke and was in a coma and was paralyzed. Some other books by Ann Packer were Songs Without Words and Mendocino. The target audience that Ann Packer was trying to touch with this novel would be young engaged couples or young couples who think that they're in love. Also, I think that this book would relate to a lot of people who are not sure about whether their relationship with someone is right. And this novel really teaches how to handle life's, um, life's, you know, obstacles and how to overcome them. This novel is about two or two people who are in love and they're going on a vacation with some of their friends. When one of the main characters, Mike, dives off of a pier, he hits his ne neck and is now in a coma. What I liked about this book was how it showed true love for two people and it expressed the love that someone could have for one another. And not only does it affect your choices affect you, but it affects everyone who cares about you. Except what I didn't like about this book was how it ended. I mean, Ann Packer's building up this great storyline and you just don't want to put the book down. But when you do find out the ending and, you know, how everything falls into place, it changes your perspective on the book. I would recommend this book for any student who's in a relationship or in high school or thinking about being in a relationship because not everyone marries their high school sweetheart. Um, I think this book really changes how you look at love. So read the book to find out if Carrie fights for her love with Mike or walks away.